Hey everyone, this is Karen with Love Lot Shine Art and Sew. And today is Monday. We're on the Creative Soul printed, the Painted Soul Creative Journey. I wrote it down so I can say it right. We're on the Painted Soul Creative Journey today, uh, February 7th. And I am just a little bit late because I was trying to get my stream yard to work on my phone and it never fails. It doesn't want to work right. I don't know what the deal is. It doesn't want to connect to my headphones and therefore it makes uh, an echo. So I'm going to try it one more time. And if not, we'll just use the uh, other one. Let's see if it will work. I'm hearing that. Still hearing. Some reason it won't let me turn this all the way down. Is that bothering you guys? Oh, and it went away. <laughs> all right, we're gonna make something really cute, and uh, we will just not worry about that right now. I will put it on camera and just use it as a recorder. We'll just record with this. Sorry, I was running late and I didn't want to didn't want to be late, but I'll just point this camera down and show you this way what we're going to be doing today. It's a surprise because I've never made one yet either, and it's all right here in my head. Uh, hey Tammy, hey Joni and Carrie, thank you for joining me. And I'm sorry I'm just a little late. I've been scrambling to get everything together, and here's what I do. This is my creative process. Let me pull my chair up. So, I gather a bunch of stuff. I just go around and I find stuff here and there. And I have something in my head. And then it changes as I find more stuff. And then something else happens. And I think, oh, we could do that. Or we could do that. So, today is going to be uh, kind of like a surprise. Hi, Stephanie. So, we're going to make something you know how much I love butterflies and hearts. So first it was going to be hearts and then it kind of morphed into butterflies. So here's what we're going to do. Let me move this out of the way. Got my little table over here. I have to have lots of room. It takes lots of room to do this stuff for me. <laughs> so we have some tissue paper, some really pretty uh, floral tissue paper that we might use all kinds of stuff here so i have a napkin i don't know that i'm going to use that i have too many things in my mind so it was probably only going to use scrapbook paper uh, maybe a bridal magazine some sheet music i printed this because i just couldn't bear to tear out of my music book yet i know I don't even play the piano that much. And I have lots of music books. But it's just so hard. I know you I know some of you have that same problem, don't you? So um I have some really pretty um paper here. Now this all came out of the same book. So it would be really pretty to use the ones that are coordinated to do what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to use that. You can also use just paper you made. You don't know what we're doing yet. So, and this is just some, this is just paper I used to paint. And then I can just use that. It's not going to show. You can use a gift bag. I've been saving this gift bag for years. I'm not kidding. It's so pretty that I won't give it away. I just save it because I think it's pretty. But you could use a gift bag. You could use it to make the little journal. Okay. And then a lot of this paper came out of books just like this. So these are like coordinated. This will be really pretty to do what we're going to do. So I don't know if you've ever used a Sizzix, but we're going to use the Sizzix. And I haven't used it in a while, but I don't think I, I don't think I forgot how to use it. I think it's going to be okay. Let's see if I can raise it up just a little bit so you can see those of us. I don't know how people do it when they can be in the thing and maybe because we're using their phone. Okay, so 
if you the if you're a young person, you may not know. This is the old cricket. Back before the days of the cricket, we had what we call the Sizzix. And we had to buy these little um, cut cutters. So you had to spend lots and lots of money uh, just to get different designs. Now you can just dial it in and do anything. But I have a butterfly. And since I already had it, I actually got some of this. I actually got another one on the marketplace because I just wanted her die cuts and I ended up with she didn't want that so I ended up with that. So we're going to use a six six and we're going to cut out some butterflies. So that's the first thing. Now if you don't have a six six it's okay. You can just cut out butterflies. Here's another idea before we cut out our butterflies. Let me name the six six. Oh by the way this is really really heavy. I had, back in the day, you notice I'm old. Hey, sis, I don't know who Facebook user is, but hey, uh, way back in the day, we had, oh, am I quit recording? Let's try it again. Maybe I don't have enough memory. Maybe I forgot to hit record. We had, um, we did, st I did Stampin' Up. So these are the, these are like my favorite stamp from Stampin' Up! that I have used. I have thousands of stamps. I mean, literally, if I counted them, it would probably be more. And I say that with my husband in the room because he knows. <clears throat> and when we went to Dollywood for a little retreat, I had one laying here and I lost it. I made, um, I made uh, 80... ATC cards, artist trading cards, using these stamps. They're so cute. But I'm going to take one that is a butterfly. So if you don't have this, you could use this and then cut it out. Or you could just do hearts. You don't even need to be butterflies. This is just what I'm doing. Your sis from Walter Burrow, South Carolina. Is that Myrna? Myrna, you need to go give me permission. Or give StreamYard permission. <clears throat> so I can see your name. Marna is my sister-in-law. Hey, Marna. Oh, here it is. I made these out of out of playing cards. And um, I used the stamps, and then we painted them and colored them. So you could do this with the stamps. So we'll do this, too. We're going to do both. I'm going to show you something. And if you don't even <clears throat> want to make them, I got these at um, Dollar Tree, a big pack of butterflies. You get some big ones and some little ones for a dollar. That is so simple. So you could do that if you can find these at Dollar Tree. They had different colors. I've got pink ones and green or blue, blue, pink and blue. Now these are just some little cards I stamped. And so you could do that with the butterflies and cut them out. It's just some ideas. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut out some butterflies real fast. Now, your paper, when you're using a Sizzix, isn't going to fit in there because it's too wide. I'm going to fold it and cut two at once. See if I remember how to do this. Does anybody else have a Sizzix besides me? Am I just the uh, antique around here? Okay, you push it in there. And you have to put some muscle into it. I may have to stand up. And you push it down and then you pull it out. And you have two butterflies that look like that. Now these have the little holes cut out. I would like if they didn't have the holes cut out, but I'm not going to stress about it. We're going to use them like that. Okay, but we need more than two. We're going to need a lot. So I'm going to, I wish I had it started sooner. I would have more ready, but oops, well, it did not work. 
it did not have, you have to have this little thing under it and it fell out from under it. Cut. I'm going to go down here. Okay. Raise it up. We did this. If you've ever worked with kids, die cuts are a big thing. We did this when our Mother's Day out. They had a die cut machine. And every morning we would go down there and cut all of our little die cuts for our letters for the week or the day. We would cut out our letters and anything. I took this with me to Mother's Day out. And anything I had that started with that letter, we would cut those out and make a craft out of it. And once I get some of these cut out, I may, oops, that one didn't cut all the way up. I may hire Mike to cut some out for me. Mr. Mike, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Do what? Counting money. Uh, counting money. It's not our money. It's counting other people's money. Okay, because this one's way big, I don't know if I want to fold it. Let's see if it'll fold. Halfway will not fit. If I cut it in thirds, will it make a butterfly? I think it will. Let's fold it in thirds and see if it'll work. It may be too thick. This is cardstock. Let's cut it. Let's do fan fold like a like a fan. Okay. Now will it go sideways? It will. It still fits. I'm so excited. It still fits. Okay. I'm laying it down. Pushing it in. Oops. It's almost too thick because it's cardstock. To do three at once. It may not cut it. Sometimes if you do it more than once, that's how we had to do the Mother's Day out one. And just move down. Go back in. Uh oh, it's thick. Three may be too much. You can get these if you really want one. You see me going up and down because they're on the table. If you really wanted one, you can get these on the marketplace real cheap because nobody really wants to use them anymore. Because uh, they got a cricket. And these look like. Look like this. I need you to cut some butterflies for me. While I'm doing the rest. While I'm doing some other stuff. If you don't mind. I'm going to show you how to do it. I know you know how you've probably done this with me before. This is really thick because it's cardstock. You have to kind of push it down and push it in. And then you just push this down. Do about three times because it's thick. And then when you get done, it pops out. A butterfly. Love is like a butterfly. Yes, it's like a, a punch, only huge. Okay, can you do that? He's so sweet. It's heavy. If you fold it, three is just pretty good. And do a few of these. Okay, just however many you can do. Just a few. Okay, so we have these ready to go. An antique. Yes, Tammy, it is an antique. <laughs> Now that I know you're Myrna, Facebook user, there may be more than one Facebook user, though. It may not all be Myrna, right? When you get done, you also end up with these little bitty hearts out of the center, which I turn around and reuse those. Okay, so we have our butterflies. Now I'm going to show you another way. We may use both. We're going to do some stamping butterflies because um, some of this paper... Two-sided paper would be really good, but some of it's 
one sided. Give me one of those. Give me one of those. I'll take that one. So we're going to use this one. So I'm just going to stamp some butterflies on here. I always feel like I have to hurry. I know uh, y'all have things to do and I like to I like to hurry so you don't get bored just watching. You know, it's more fun to do it yourself. But I'm going to show you how to do it without uh, without having to do all of this work too. So I'm just going to stamp it. And now I have a butterfly. So let me stamp a few. I just used purple because, you know, it was, it was sitting here. It didn't want to stamp. Let me bang it a little bit. I'm on sort of a cushiony thing. If you're on a hard surface, it works better than uh, this. I can, actually, this is a uh, ceiling tile that I was using the other day to show how to make a bulletin board, which we may do that next time. I've got to start getting back on my page and doing more lives. Even though it didn't all show up, it's kind of cool. It's kind of antique looking. I think it's kind of kind of neat looking. So we're going to do, we'll do four like this. And we'll just mix it up. We'll do more than one. I have another idea too. Okay. Oh, I should have brought in. See, I always forget something. Um, where's my little bitty scissors? I should have brought in some pot cleaners. I need some little scissors in here. Okay, I'll use these big ones. I like the little ones. Okay, I'm just going to cut these out. Yeah, I don't like these scissors. They're harder to manipulate. And pairs of scissors and only one in front of me. So I'm just going to cut around the butterfly like this. Now it was a little wet. It's okay because if it smears, I'm cutting that part off anyway. And I, I think it kind of looks kind of neat. Yeah, everybody's in that old antique look now. Ephemera. Thank you. He's so good. He's so good to me. Aren't you, babe? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did y'all get ice? Oh, for some reason, my computer wants to install Windows 11, and I've already done that. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Do not restart. Oh, she's got it now. I can see Marta's name. Way to go, Marta. I don't think you'll have to do it after today. And once you've done it, I think you're done. Hey, if y'all want to uh, be sure and tell your friends about Painted Souls so they can come over and see all of our cool uh Craft, craft tutorials. Uh, that would be great. I mean, it's free. I tell you what, for everybody on here today or on the replay, if you're on, if you're watching the replay, comment replay. I'll do a little drawing. Um, at the end of the week and give a give a, a little uh, craft away by the way I do a uh, craft boxes subscription boxes and you get uh, two or three crafts to do really cute crafts with all the supplies 
and the instructions uh, and you get in a private Facebook group and that's where all of the videos will be on how to make these different crafts. Okay, so there's four butterflies. Okay, so I have lots of butterflies to do our little little surprise craft. Okay, so what we're going to do is make a butterfly garland. And before we do that, I'm going to take I'm going to take some tissue paper. Well, okay, I have some string. I don't have pot cleaners would work. I'm just going to make some butterflies out of tissue paper. We'll see if that works. Yeah, the uh, pot cleaner would be good. I'm going to have to figure out how to work around that. Let's see how this works. So, most everybody's got tissue paper. If you've ever gotten a present, save your tissue paper. And we're just going to, it almost looks like a bow. Let's see. That looks like a bow. So we're going to like curve the edges to make it look like a butterfly. So just kind of do a, a little bit of a heart shape like that. I'm going to do it on both sides. Oh man, you're good, honey. I think I may have enough. Mm, yeah, do a couple, couple of those. You don't have to do the whole page. Does that look like a little butterfly? Okay, I'm just going to take... Hmm, I have a piece of wire. Take a piece of wire. wire cutters if they will unhook themselves. Take a piece of wire. Come on. <gasps> it didn't want to get in there. Okay. So I'm going to make this little butterfly. I'm going to take a piece of wire. If you don't have wire, use a zip tie. Oh, no zip tie. We didn't use a zip tie, but use a, a bread tie. Okay. And I'm just going to twist it like this. I want it to be a little tighter than that, so I'm going to I'm going to take these and twist it a little more because I didn't get it started quick enough. And then I'm going to take these and just twist it around. I'm going to make those the little antennas. see. Got a fit where you can see the little. It's hard to see because I did it in blue. But there's the little butterfly. So there's that. You can use tissue paper. Pipe cleaners works great. I left them in the building. so. But pipe cleaners would work. Or bread ties, gift bag ties. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stack these. We're going to use these because I have them here. Now you got to, when you do more than one, sometimes they stick together. So I'm going to fold them in the middle like this. Some are going to fold in. And some are going to fold it out. And then I'm going to put one. Let's do. Let's do. Oh, do the. Uh, oh, honey. I didn't give you the music. Thanks. Isn't he sweet, guys? He's so sweet. That's why I love him. Well, this, lot of this is uh, Yeah, I did both. Paper. Right. Either one or both. We'll try and see which one we like the best. And I did two-sided on that. So that would be really good in the middle because it's two-sided. I have some other two-sided um, 
I pulled out some two-sided paper. But it got buried. I don't know where it's at. So this is two-sided because I st stamped it. So you can actually use this on there. I don't know. He is a keeper. Yeah, we got good guys. So I put those two together. Put those, the big one in the middle or just do these. The two sided works a lot better. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some color on this side. The ones with the white on the inside, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some color on there. So I brought what I need for that. I've got some cotton here and I have some stamp pads. So let's kind of antique it up. I don't care if it's on top of there. So I'm just going to like give it some, make it look kind of old looking. I'm sorry, going off the camera there. Just kind of maybe even go around the edges. So it's just not all white. You know, I just make this up as I go along. Mike said, I said, I've never done this before. I'm just going to try it. And he said, that's not the first time I've heard that. It seems like a constant in your community. I said, yeah, it's like, we're going to experiment. I've never done this before. Let's see what this looks like. Very common things to hear from us artistic people, isn't it? We're just going to give it a go. I bet it'll look good. Let's get some, let's get some color on there. I think I'm going to change to purple. Let's do another color. Let's do some purple and grab another cotton. I have another idea to, to go with this. This isn't the only thing we're doing. Cute. It's just a matter if it gets on the front of it. I think it's just kind of let's do a little bit on the front of that one. And I'm just using regular O uh, stamps, stamp pads. I got it Tuesday morning. <clears throat> Do y'all have a Tuesday morning? Do you go to Tuesday morning at your some? I don't know if that's a more of a Texas thing or a all over thing. I know Arkansas has one. Oops, drop that one. Oh, look at these! Oh, these are cute, and I did both sides. Perfect. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I have heated up, oops, okay, my glue gun is wrapped around the leg of my tripod, there we go, we're going to use the glue gun, you can use glue, tacky glue, I just like to use a glue gun because it's faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to just glue these down the middle, just down the middle. I'm going to be a line of glue and I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to fold it going out and I'm going to stick it in that glue. Right even with where the butterflies are. Like that. And then I'm going to put one on the back side. 
they don't even have to be the same. They can be different. We found a different one. Let's see how it looks. So we're going to glue this on the back. So it's going to be three layers. You can do four or more. Oh my gosh, it's cute. So there's our butterflies. Now what I failed to do is put the string down the middle of it when I glued it. So I'm going to have to do that now. But that's okay. Well, that one came off, so that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a string. This is just Baker's twine. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on the butterfly. I'm going to give it a little extra on top because we're going to tie it to something. And then I'm going to put the other butterfly on top of that. So I'm going to put this on top. So the string is attached in the middle of the butterflies. Now, thank you, honey. I saw this on similar, not this, actually it was hearts. I saw this on Pinterest with hearts and they sewed them down the middle and then they would sew it, grab another one, sew it, grab another one. I do that with quilts. When I'm quilting, I will do that. I will sew and just, you know, just keep going and then we cut it apart. But that's how they made their uh, heart garland. But I wanted to do butterflies because I knew I had, I thought I had, well, I didn't have a heart scissors, but I had a butterfly. So I'm like, let's do that. So we're going to just put a whole bunch of these down here. I'm going to try to do that real fast so we can make a string. Now I had something similar to this out in my building that I had bought. I brought it in here to show you. Um, I brought a bunch of stuff in here. This, I don't remember where I bought it or why, but I have it hanging out in my building. You could do something like this. This one has got, I think I may have cut one off and used it for something else. It got tangled up in the box. Thank you, Deborah. A spinner, yeah, that's true. That's true, and it would be really cute in the uh, with the wind blowing it. So, see how this is really cute. It's got ribbon with some beads in between it, and of course, this one they have made a wire thing with beads on it, but something like this. You could hang it, you know, hang them going down on the fireplace like that. Or you could do it like this and like we do at Christmas time with our garlands and hang it on each end. Um, you could actually cut these off and you could use these somewhere else, not just on a garland. Use it on a flyer arrangement or anything like that. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a, a little bit of a garland, a uh, string and then we'll show you something else we're going to do with it because it's cute okay so i'm going to glue another butterfly i'll fold it and then turn it over put the string on it first like i failed to do and i'm only going to give it oh uh, let's see things falling down a uh, few inches just a couple of inches maybe put some more glue on here that's going to help the string stay there and we find another one do blue this time fold it in and then mash it down 
these little cutouts work great, but if you have a Cricut, you could do the same thing or just use your scissors. Or again, just get them at Dollar Tree. Is it cute? Okay, let's do another one. And y'all, okay, yeah, I did get the idea from Hearts at, uh, off of Pinterest, but I totally changed it. They sewed it. I'm gluing it. I made butterflies. And I have another idea what we're going to do with it. That's one piece because it's two-sided. Okay. Sometimes they stick together. I would hate for it to fall apart because it's stuck together. Let's stick one on here. You can leave it flat and then bend it afterwards. Stick the white, the string. I'm not measuring it. It probably would be better if I did, but I'm not. I put a little more glue and then put another butterfly. And then stick them together. And then you could fold it up. Think about how much fun this would be if you have kids to do this with. Okay, I'd see why you need to fold it. <laughs> I kind of stuck. There we go. They would have fun hanging these around. Or you get little girls hang it off their fan. Well, might get caught in the fan. <laughs> well, nobody want to do that. Okay. Oh, that one. Oh, it wound around. <laughs> it came out. Okay. So here we have three hanging down. Oops. Okay, so there we have three. Now, imagine, picture if you will, four or five of these strings like this with five or six butterflies. I think I would do different lengths, like five and four and whatever. Okay, imagine that. Now we're going to take... can take a can. I want to do this. Okay. Let's see if this works. This is just a thought. Okay. I had the other day, I did some can art and I covered a can with some paper. You don't even have to use a can. You could just use cardboard or you could use a uh, cardstock. Maybe I'll just do that today because it'll be easier. But what I wanted to do, I wouldn't be able to do. Do I want to use the can? Okay, let me think. Uh, Mike. Yes. Mm, I'm trying to think if I need yeah. you or not. Oh, also, I had brought in a bridal magazine. You could totally use this to cut out your hearts or butterflies. Um, this is butterflies and dragonfly paper. I think I'll cover the can with this stuff. Never mind, I think I'm good. Okay, we're going to cut this. And we're going to cover this can. We're going to see if this works again. Experiment time. Okay. How big do I want it to go? I'm going to cut it that big. I'm going to fold it to the size. And then I'm just going to use my scissors. I have my cutter over there, but sometimes scissors are all you need. around here almost big enough I think it'll work I will make it happen I'll put that on top that works okay so I'm going to mod podge it to this I'm going to set my butterflies to the side 
is that takes a little time to sit there and glue those all together. I pick them up. It's like picking up needles. Okay. So let me glue this to the can. I'm going to use just simple Mod Podge. Left my brushes in the water. So bad. Okay. Get the water out of the brush. You don't want too much water in your Mod Podge. Okay. I think I'll just put it on the can. Then I'll put the paper on the can. And then we'll decorate it. I have an idea. Hope it works. All right. We'll put that part on the bottom. We're going to put this around the can. All the way to the edge. Yeah, I'm gonna need that brush again. If you get the paper wet, it will with the Mod Podge sometimes it'll just stick better. Kind of get it down in the fibers there. Now I want to cover the bottom because it's going to show if my idea works. We're just going to cut this around and then we're going to fold it down. more cuts. Eek. Kinda like that. You see what I did there? So we're just going to like push this down. I don't care if it tears. You know what I'm going to do yet? Let me stick all this in here so it'll stick down. Any guesses on if it's going to work or not? I think it will. I think it will. I hope it will. Let's see. So we're going to mash this down and we're going to get this good and stuck. Maybe a little hot glue. Hot glue is great. Oops. I'm running out of hot glue stick. There we go. Okay. So now the bottom's covered. The can is covered. The bottom is covered. Now, is it going to work? Is it going to work? I don't know why all of my gadgets, I had to use all my gadgets today. If you don't have these gadgets, it's okay. You can use a, like an ice stick and a hammer to make the holes. We're going to start out, we're going to use a crocodile. And we're going to make the little handle like this one here. We're going to make a little handle to hang it with. 
So I'm going to start out with this. So I'm going to stick the right end in. And then I'm going to make the little holes for the handle. Try to get straight across. Okay, there's the holes to put the little wire to hold it up. Fingers crossed this works. Okay, I'm going to stick this in and I'm going to make, let's see how far down it'll go. Mm, yeah, I think it'll work better if I take the bottom out. But we're going to do it this way. We're going to make some holes all the way around it. Now we have holes all the way around it. Now I'm going to make some extra holes all kind of all over. I just want holes everywhere. More the merrier. get all the way down to the bottom or I would put holes down here so maybe next time I will just take the bottom out but it's not going to work if I do that I don't think so now we're going to take our butterfly garland and then we're going to tie it in one of these little holes I, I made I'm going to pull it through and then I'm just going to put a knot so that it'll stay inside there. I'm going to make, I'm going to double it so that it doesn't fall through. Okay, so there's our little can with our little garland hanging. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. I'm going to cut it down to here. Okay, so there's one. I'm thinking do them all the way around and make like a little chandelier we could hang something on the bottom here what could we want to hang we could do a fuzzy ball you could do some we can make some like a ribbon Ooh, okay hang on i got an idea i got an idea i don't know if we'll like it but i'm gonna try it let's see if it works i always have stuff laying around here it's got some ribbon. If you got the box this month, you got a whole bunch of this ribbon. Okay, I'm just going to do three. We're going to take three pieces of ribbon. We're going to tie it on here and see what that looks like. And if you want, you can put a little piece around it to look more like a little pom-pom. So, there's our little hanging thing. We're going to put the wire on there because I have some wire. The wire used on the butterfly works for the can.
And those two holes I made right here across from each other. You get this wire that's not too stiff. It's easy to bend and work with. Just twist it. Let's see if I back it up. Now you have a cute little bit. If you hang some others on there, wake us more. One more thing. The reason I kept the bottom, which would be really neat to poke some holes down here, is you put a little tea light in there. And this one happens to make different colors. So in the dark, which you can't see it. Whoops. Put it up close. It's supposed to shine through the holes. Can you see it? So, if you do two or three strings and hang it off of the can, and then hang it up on your door and in the, in the in a doorway or something like that, I think that would be cute. The beads would weigh, help them to hang. I also actually brought some buttons, and I thought about that too. I brought some buttons so we could actually add a button to the ribbon. You could sew it and make them do that. Or we could just hot glue one because I have hot glue here. Fix up my hot glue is running out of stuff. Let's put a little button on there. Oh, and that'll spin too. How cute. Now that, that's my design. That was here and it actually is out here now. I got it out of my head. <laughs> we could add more butterflies. I think add more strings with butterflies and even the different butterflies, like one string like this and one string like, um, like these are just do, uh, different like all of the ones in that particular um scrapbook paper would all be together and they would all match so anyway that's your craft for the day thank you tammy so thank y'all for watching i really appreciated y'all uh hanging out with me and creating and i would love to see before i go let, let me show you how they did i know you can figure it out but let me show you real fast how they did. Um, you know how to make a heart. You just fold it and then make a little C shape. Everybody learned that when we were kids. I'm sure you all did. But you could do the same thing and just make them all the same size. Let me show you what that looks like. You could actually would be really cute to do hearts and butterflies together. And I almost went off the page on this one, so it's, it's going to be missing a little tail of it. But they did point in and out. See if I can push this hot glue in there. They did a heart. And then they did it on the other side and they sewed it but i was afraid it might uh come on you know hey when you perforate something how it tears apart i thought well that's gonna be perforated so the hearts are like the butterflies they're just hearts two-sided works a lot better but anyway that's if you want to do hearts same thing, same principle. Just fold them, glue them. They had three together. Use book pages. They use book pages. And I was going to use that. And 
if you just can't do everything in 30 minutes, right? Or an hour, let's see, an hour. I know I have longer, but uh, I think, I think y'all are ready. <laughs> I think we got it. I think you got it. What would you use for Christmas? Oh my gosh, anything. You could use bells. Do the, you know, the little bell shape. Get the cookie cutters and uh, use those shapes. Just trace it out of a cookie cutter and uh, bells would be really cute. What else would you use for Christmas? Um, poinsettias, maybe. So, and thank you, Tammy, for letting us do this today. And I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to finish it and I'll post a feature. I'm going to keep working on it. I have to get another glue stick. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to y'all. I'll be on Saturday. I think I'm Saturday, not this week, but next week. I think I signed up for that. So, uh, and go over to my page, Love, Light, Shine, Art, and So. That is my... Um, page on Facebook and I do I have a lot of videos over there and go watch my reels okay guys I did a reel my son sent me a picture from his ring doorbell where he slipped on the ice and I'm sorry bless his heart his knee is and the hip is sore but he sent it to me because he knew I get a kick out of it and, and I giggle every time I see it so go watch it go watch it and uh thank you pam and i was gonna wear my earrings but i took them off and i don't know where i put them but I, now i gotta go find them again she sent me the most gorgeous gorgeous earrings i love them so much oh and this little heart this was in the uh box the uh sub box last month to make so all of my sub box ladies got a two necklaces actually to put together really easy so check out if you're interested oh if you're interested in a sub box, they go out in March and I need to know by Thursday, if you want to sign up, let me know and I will send you the link to sign up for the March box. So thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, Pam.